everybody welcome back to my channel I'm gonna be doing my weekly empties and I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in um, I have a little scent shot of beach bombshell from vintage chick did perform well this smells like um, coconut tanning lotion or like the beach it I will repurchase that I am starting to like really fruity scents now I think I was just I have so much bakery scent that I need fruity now to have a good combo. So I will repurchase this. This was Fabulous Flames Candle Company. She does not, she changed her name out here. I'm not in her group, but this was a crown that had like four or five different layers. If I can remember, it was all like soda pop scents or slushy, blue slushy, orange soda, strawberry soda, those type of scents. And um, very pretty and it performed very, very well. Loved it. Was strong. Have no complaints. Came in this cute little pink box. Um, finally finished that up. And then Rebel Rouge. I have a king. This is king cake. Um when I sniff this it's, it smells like cinnamon and like a cinnamon cakey bakery type scent I love it if you've not tried Rebel Rouge I would recommend trying it her wax is great and then I also have another packaging from Rebel Rouge I finished uh, my daughter tore the label of course but she's always in my wax stash I have a little um, waxaholic and if you watch the video before this if it uploads you'll see her in my video this was vampire's lust and this has i think seven up pound cake in it it's how you get that citrus and bakery scent and um i don't know you can go to the scent descriptions if you're interested on her website it has them i don't remember everything and then um let's see kiss my wax i have the bubblegum fruit loops I went through I'm not really I don't get the fruit loops in this and I'm not really a bubblegum fan but I did burn it in my daughter's room and her I have the candle in there I did well I just am not a bubblegum fan but it wasn't bad um front porch bear claws I really liked um this it was a cinnamon scent did very well in the glade warmer I used and I have Julia and the Sun. This is from Vintage Chic, Vintage Chic Scents, and it was I think a coin. Um, this is a very good summer fruity scent. I love this. We'll repurchase this. I'm actually on the hunt for it. But I just want to point out something. Has anyone noticed that these bags are like very thick? When I got these in a D sash, they were like so thick. Like it must be like extra thick with probably 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 propylene because you get bags. Um, you can get the thickness, you know, however much you prefer. But like compared to this one, it's just like really thick. But I like it. it means it's gonna keep your stuff a lot fresh. Sorry, I just noticed that. I actually melted this last night, and you guys might think I'm a little nuts, but I've never tried Super Tarts. Did get a sample, and it was King Jeffrey. This is a, smells like it's a cinnamon in it. I don't know the scent description right offhand, um, but I liked it. I really, really liked it. I need to try some more Super Tart stuff, because I keep hearing some really good things. I get stuck in my ways and tend to just buy from a few people just because it's easy. I like buying these stashes because you get an assortment of everything and you can find out what you like. So, hold on, sorry. Okay, the next one is my favorite, Smurfs in the Kitchen, which it kind of wore off the name. But I got that in this D stash as well that I bought. And it's my favorite scent. It's my comfort scent. If I'm having a bad day, I'm going to pull this out. And it's going to put me in a good mood. It's one of those. Um, it has blueberry, vanilla fudge butter. Um, 
I don't know, but it has lots of. And then I have Hakuna Matata from Nancy's Wax Creations. This did well. This is a very unique blend. Not my usual scent I would be like pull out of my drawer, but it just stuck to me and I love it. Um, I don't remember what is in it. Um, it is almost a mixture between like a fruity, earthy with a touch of bakery in it. I want to say I can't, but I can't put my hands on her. But if you haven't tried Nancy's, I would recommend it. Love her wax. And then I had, this was a label from a different company that I had their wax. I think it was called Poison Apple. And um, it was just very, very bright, different apple scents like green apple, red apple, Macintosh, that type of thing. Um, wasn't my favorite favorite because I'm not a big apple fan unless it's like apple pie or you know kind of like that but I enjoyed it don't get me wrong and I've tried a few things of bear wax that I like and then let's see here I had scarlet rain berry kimmy cheesecake and I just get the berry scent I did this in the glade warmer did perform very well and I just like I said, I don't get the cheesecake. I get more of like a bakery berry. So that is all I have melted for this week, which is a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of melting because I've purchased a lot, if you've noticed my hauls. Um, so I've been trying to get rid of it. And then I'm going to scoot this over and show you kind of my wax basket. It might give you guys some, some ideas. I did show you a little bit before, but I moved it into a basket now um when i'm done with something in my glade warmer or my candelaria warmer or anything i put it in these silicone cups it just makes it easier to solidify and then pop them out put them in a bag throw the bag away or you know and dump it out or dump the wax out and um this is stuff that i need to like, I don't have a home for it in my wax shelving. And if you ever want to see, like, where I store my wax, please comment below. And I'll be happy to do, like, go through my collection. But this doesn't have a home, so it just sits here. And this makes me melt it. But I tend to overskip this and pull out what my comfort scents. But I still need to melt... Kiss My Wax, Jolly Rancher, I still, like, I just now put a cube of this in, Fabulous Flames, Orange Julius Caesar, I have half of Madeline's Bedtime Stories to melt, this is from Nancy's Wax Creations, um, this is her lavender blend, um, I'm not really a huge lavender person, but this would be good in my daughter's room. Cause it smells like a like you know powder and lavender and chamomile that type of thing i'm just showing you a few things i know this video is getting long um tiffany candle still this is actually a few years old it still smells her breakfast at tiffany's and this one i just can't seem to like um i cannot seem to like this one i don't know why it's not that i don't like the company it's just the scent and it's um, blue banana coconut. It's like blue sugar banana with coconut. And it's just, I mean, it smells like blue, straight blue sugar banana to me. And it's just hard. But I've been trying to do it in spurts. Like if I'm not going to be in the room, put it in there and just let it melt so I can get through that. And then I got some strawberry cheesecake from Wax Fence. I didn't, this wasn't really a strong thrower. I did a little half of it. Um, and then I have a Waste No Accessorius I'm trying to use up. And a fortune cookie. I think this is from Bear Wax. I loved this. It's just a light fortune. It's like actually a fortune cookie scent. Like I've went through before. But I did good. I had a lot more that I had to melt. But I went through. 
So this might give you guys an idea if you guys are wanting to go through some wax, some older wax, or just stuff you just need to melt. Put it into like a little storage caddy and make yourself melt it. And, and thank you all so much for watching my empties for the week. I've been enjoying my melting. And thank you for watching my video. Please give me a like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.